in a Ferrari, it's like you're wrapped in silk. Holy mother! The Ferrari has excess on wheels. I am here because, gentlemen, I have in the back of that lorry something that will make your McLaren and your Porsche look like lumps of yesteryear. remember the last time a car or indeed any sort of thing gave me a fizz like the Ferrari, the Ferrari. This has 950 horsepower, 950. More than either of the other two and it's lighter, it weighs 1,250 kilograms. Which is less than most hatchbacks. Actually, there is a bit more to the Ferrari, the Ferrari, because what it has is, in effect, a Formula One curse system. It constantly recovers energy that would otherwise be lost using its electric motor and its battery. So as I brake there, the car is actually saying, that energy, I'll have that. Straight. This is what 950 horsepower feels like. The Ferrari Testarossa was excess on wheels. Be it looks, attitude, or even size. When this car came out, people were absolutely aghast at how wide this car was. I don't mean wide like Del Boy, I mean wide as in width. It was enormous, especially at the back. And it simply oozed charisma from every one of its slatted panels. It was unquestionably the only car that could star in Miami Vice. In fact, Enzo Ferrari loved that show so much, he actually gave its star, Don Johnson, his own Testarossa. And Don was just the tip of the celebrity iceberg. Rod Stewart had one, Elton John had one, Mike Tyson had one, OJ Simpson had one, and presumably wore driving gloves. The price of this car when it went on sale in 1985 was £62,666. And that is, as I'm sure you know, the number of the beast. And when you unleashed its 5 litre V12, it would do 180 miles an hour. That was an astonishing figure for the time. Called the P3, it looked as sleek as a GT40. And at just 37.4 inches tall, it was even lower. <laughs> Holy mother! Let's be a little bit careful on this narrow road. It's worth 20 million pounds. Where the GT40 boasted a top speed of over 210 miles an hour, the P3 maxed out at just 190. But Enzo Ferrari was willing to trade outright speed for gains elsewhere. The Ferrari was lighter, it was more agile. Ferrari reckoned he could make up the difference in the bends, and he wouldn't have to stop so often for fuel. A David and Goliath battle was looming. Morning. Fancy seeing you here? Yeah. Well, to be honest, I was just out for a drive and I stopped to sort of 
you know, marvel at the mystery and wonder of God's creation. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you're aware, but you happen to have pulled up on the start line of a drag race. Have I? Yeah. Seeing as our cars are so similar, would you mind accompanying me to the other end of this runway in a drag race type fashion? Yeah, all right. Excellent. Good. It's just worked out that way today. That's blind luck that that man happened to be in, in, in the logical competitor for this car. Jesus Christ, it's all over the place.